Ladies and gentlemen, we've enjoyed his special reports from Grand Nationals throughout the day. Now, please welcome to the 50-yard line my fellow Bands of America championship announcer, Mr. Dan Potter. Thank you, Chuck Henson. Chuck, I don't know if you can hear me still, but would you give us one big joining us? Sure, I can do that. <laughs> joining us. There it is. You know, I, I, I was posting about Grand Nationals on Facebook, and I had some adult friends of mine back home in Oklahoma post that even at their age, hi, Oklahoma. This friend posted that even at that age, they were watching Grand National semifinals online. And even at their adult advanced years, when they hear Chuck Henson's voice, they get chills because they know it takes them back to this place in time and a thrilling moment for them in their high school career. Chuck's a big part of that. It's his 25th year as the voice of Bands of America. So if you run into him, Tell him thank you. Give him a big round of applause if you would. How many of you are here at your very first BOA Grand Nationals Finals? There you go. All right. You're the people, you're the people that I like to watch. I love to watch the reaction of first timers at Grand National Finals. And I love to hear the comments because I hear things like, I had no idea that marching band could be like this. I didn't know it could be this good. Or my favorite of all is, oh my Lord, those are high school kids? Really? Yeah, really. And they are the best high school kids. Now we BOA staffers, we've been around these Bands of America bands this season since way back in September. Uh, and we, like many of you, have watched most of prelims and semifinals. And we've enjoyed the performances that we have seen, of course, immensely. But if, if you ask any one of us veterans what's different about tonight, what's different about finals, I bet you'll hear one of us use the word magic. There is something magical that happens on finals night. It's kind of a, a convergence of everything good. You, as Dr. Tim pointed out, you're a big part of that. Any energy you give from the stands is gonna be felt out here where I'm standing, and the performers are gonna give it right back to you. Dr. Tim covered all that. But we have other magical elements here. Let me, let me tell you some things that help, might help you first timers appreciate what you're gonna see here tonight. Number one, there is this magnificent stage. Lucas Oil Stadium is the first major NFL-sized stadium in the world to have marching band and the pageantry arts designed into it from the ground up. These black curtains, this scrim that goes across the backfield that makes this stage, there's no other stadium in the world that has that. The field level warm-up areas, all of these things were designed into this house so that this would be not only the home of the Indianapolis Colts, we let them use it on Sundays, but also it would be the world epicenter of marching band, drum corps, and the pageantry arts. So we have the house, that's a magical place. We have, I think, eight high definition cameras capturing everything going on out here on the field. We have, as I mentioned, Chuck's voice. And then we have these performers and these shows that have been crafted here. Uh, while you're watching the performers, Know that at times, some of these tempos approach 200 beats per minute. Do the math on that. 200 beats a minute means 33 steps in 10 seconds. I want you to try on your way back out to the car tonight, time yourself and see if you can walk 33 steps in 10 seconds. And then imagine carrying 40 pounds of tenor drums and playing 16th notes or 32nd notes or whatever complicated passage of music you're playing just to give you an appreciation of the athleticism that's going to happen on this field here tonight. Okay, that's one thing to think about. First timers, if you want to know how a band is doing visually, watch their feet. Watch their feet. Are they picking their toes up? Are, is everything together? Just something that you can watch. But like I say, there are many elements that make up this magic tonight. 
and uh, chief among them is the shows themselves. Out here on the field tonight, here's some of the magic. You are going to see and feel a locomotive rolling across this field and crossing boundaries. You're gonna ride with pioneers blazing new paths. You will gaze in wonder on statuesque beauty. You'll watch a man and woman fall in love, get married, and then, well, things don't go so well after that. It kind of blows up. You'll listen as sirens lure sailors onto the rocks and to their doom. You'll be enthralled by a snake charmer who makes a giant serpent slither across the field. There is so much magic that is going to happen here on this field tonight. Enjoy it. I'll be back from time to time talking to some of the performers, some of the designers and instructors. Have a good Grand Nationals. Let's go.